previously on Baxson and Car Breakers. I have to have a bite. Sorry. Zoe, get the hell off that! That is mine! I'm not joking. I swear to God, if I look in that wrapper and there's a bite missing, I'm not gonna be happy. Free sauce, bro. I love Etsy. <laughs> Etsy. Love it. Yeah. Uh, I'm eating alloys now. Right. Uh, is Brad Bailey on three cars? Yeah. Sorted them. Why are you recording? No. Uh, right. Anyway, what time is it? Uh, quarter past four, nearly. Oh, I'm glad I have my sausage roll. I'm starving. Pass it here. Yeah. I don't mind having a bite. Yeah, yeah. no, I just had a bite. Zoe, where is it? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> Zoe, I'm not joking. <laughs> I was hungry. Zoe, where is it? Come on, I need to sort it all up there. Zoe, <laughs> you're not eating, is she eating it? Yeah. Zoe. I I, I knew a, you had a bite. I had a bite and I had an extra bite and then it was too tempting. I could smell it. I'm sorry. You know when you've been looking forward to it all day? <laughs> right guys, you want me to tell you a story? So I had a tub of Ben and Jerry's, right? Yeah, oh, so we had a tub 15 years ago. I can't believe <laughs> I'll tell you you've the story. done that. I can't believe you've done this. Get out. I'll tell you the story. No, it. it's, it's called. You have. I'm going to bring the police. Right, get out. You have stole <laughs> from me. So, I'm getting back to this. Wait, so this is karma, everyone. This is what happens in karma. So, when I was about 12 years old, I had a tub of Ben and Jerry's, okay? I was addicted to it. And. I was in school and I was looking forward to this tub of Ben and Jerry's all day, all day. So I got home, like rushing up, opened the freezer, and guess what? It's disappeared. Guess what? James had eaten it, and then guess what again? I was at my friend's house, and guess what? He put the tub on her doorstep, knocked on the door, and then ran away. And I was like, oh yes, he's brought me my tub of Ben and Jerry's. So I get it, empty, gone. So that was karma. Then we told him about where I put it on the doorstep yeah. as well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was so funny. Karma right. is all right. The alloys are going. Bye, alloys. I'll go and record. Bye, well, you need to edit. Right, you get editing. I'm going to go and do a bit of recording. I'll tell you what. Bye bye. Listen, I'm going to get you back yeah, right. for this. No, no. That's your karma for that. Yeah, listen, it might be in yeah, a week, turn might be in 10 head. years. Yeah. I will get you back. Well, we'll see. Well, I've just got you back Zoe, you could have put something better than a stapler in it. Maybe like an apple or something. Ah. <sighs> Completely robbed me. Right, anyway. I'm going to show you these alloys going. Yes, Dan. Are you, where's Oliver? Hello? He's gone home? He's gone to college. Oh, was he? Right. Well, yeah, what is it? Chat time? Yeah. Oh, is it break time? It actually is break time, oh, isn't it? Not. Oh, is it not? <laughs> Ooh. How did you get that bingo free to chat all day? Oh, yeah, you I'm will. I don't stop and chat with anybody, really. Look at Eddie nodding like, yes, he'll get it. Right, let's get it gone. So, 20 yarder, full of alloys. I'm going to be moving this skip now, and uh, it's not going to be coming back till after Easter, so Tuesday. But what I do want to do is empty all this engine bay over here and put the, the bin in going in there so it's not like taking up all this room near the depollution bay so that'll be a lot better and then uh just be a bit more organized won't it when we move it yeah it will there is no organization in this place no there is a little bit not oh, much not much don't start yeah to just a people. little bit yeah <laughs> Wait, lift up a bit it. lift up a bit Right, go into that. Right. Oh, come on! Don't be so daft. Get it on and get your net on. What have you got to say to your people, Eddie? Hey, how are you? Get a like and subscribe in there. <laughs> like, share and subscribe. I'll tell you what, man. Happy good. Easter. I'm off now till Tuesday. Tuesday. Don't be lying. Looking quite clean, that I've is, Eddie. Yeah, yeah, you're in camel time now, aren't you? 
Yeah, that'd be it, that. Right, he's gonna lift it on now and get out of here. Yes, Mark. Where did you find that coat, lad? Did you find that in the car? It's a bit big for you, lad. What size is it? Uh, well, extra, extra large. I think it's extra, extra small, lad. No, go on, lad. <laughs> And easy as that. There's probably about four ton in that, I guess. What do you reckon, Chris? Four ton. Quick nod. Right, right. That'll do for the alloys. I'm just going to go to um, a local place what sells loads of like welding supplies and stuff. Can I say the name if you want? You know. No. Why would I? <laughs> Why would I? You've already said half of it. Right. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to go there now. I'm going to get some welding rods, um, some cutting discs. What else are we getting? Some grease. Grinding discs. Some Grinding discs. Yeah. There's just a load of little bits and bobs I need to get. So I'm going to get them now and I'll show you what we've got. Oh, so you're going to do your telephone, yes. right? Have you got the right rooms? Scapers, you know what I'm talking about. Right, three, two, one. <laughs> Bam. I've got the stuff. I've got the grinding discs. The, what did they call the other ones? I don't know what they were. But they're for like sanding it down. Um, grinding it up. So we've got all them. We've got the four millimeter rods and the 3.2 mil rods. And we've got a new welding mask. So yeah, that should do the job. Right, I'm gonna go back on the machine. Uh, before I do, uh, I would say an update from in here, but there's not really, there's not much of an update in here, we're not done. How are you managing without Ryan? Don't say peaceful. It is peaceful. It is actually quite peaceful without Ryan, isn't it? There's all our music. Yeah. And you've got more on top of the packing than you've ever been. In fact, get a call Ryan out and see if he watches the videos. Is it German? He won't, he won't pick no, up. No, I mean, if he ever sees this. I think he does, just to check the comments. <laughs> yeah. Right. Ryan, if you are watching this, I want you to come up to Dan or me and say, I saw that. Right, let's see what Zoe's doing. Whoa! Bean. Zoe, shut up. <laughs> no, listen, I know no. it's only a sausage roll, that's not the point. <laughs> you, I'm not even bothered about the sausage roll. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm bothered about you stealing. What about my Ben and Jerry? Zoe, that was different. <laughs> you know I was starving then. <laughs> listen, I'll tell you what I'll do then. Yeah. I'll let you off. Yeah. If you to look at the camera, directly into the camera and say, I, I Zoe, Spencer, Zoe Spencer, stole did not steal from my own brother. No, I'm never saying that. James stole my Ben and Jerry's 12. And I'll do it again. Yeah. And I'm going to do it again because you're yeah, out right from me. <laughs> right. Hello, everyone. I'm going to end it there. Shall we end it on Bo editing? Yeah. What have you got to say, Bo? What? I said, shall we end it on you whilst you're editing? Yeah. I'm going to, right, I'm going to end it. Thank you. So that means you're going to kill me. <laughs> right, Saturday morning, er, uh, Friday morning, sorry. Good Friday. Brad's just rang me, who's out driving, uh, and he said the tyre has developed a boiled egg on the side of it. So I've just obviously said limp it back, and we've got a replacement tyre off. We did check this morning, and it was fine, so it's just must have done it with the heat of the i mean it happens but he hasn't managed to get back he's actually just had a blowout so i'm having to send three ton to go and sort him out uh we've got we've always got spare wheels built up ready to go unfortunately brad just didn't have the tools on him or the spare wheels so we're gonna have to send three ton now got this wheel here to go on got all the tools now oh, he's got his mitt wrapped as well like you'll be right on that drive aren't you <laughs> Right. That's why so. when you rang me and said you gotta go now, I'm thinking, no! Yeah, oh yeah, you were waiting, yeah, yeah. Do you want them seats forward or not? Nah, you should go in, I reckon that. Oh, nice little self-tapper there, a little bodge lad. <laughs> right, so we're gonna get this uh, loaded and get free ton on his way. Who's this? More just think. It was Yeah, I would never stay with that one. Just as they ordered, I've come around and said, I'm ordering, I'm ordering from Mackenzie Walsh, I'm like, oh, what, does it double cost? Yeah. Oh, it's the same guy as well. Yeah. 
it cost me a lot looking at, I think three ninety nine or four ninety nine for delivery. Oh, uh, is that enough fly out? Uh, it shouldn't be, I think it's Right, so I'm going to be giving three on the camera. You're bringing this with you, and he's going to go into head cam. Uh, hopefully, it's a nice, quick repair. So I'm going to leave it with Freetum whilst I uh, keep the yard running. I've, you've got to wear head cam as well. Yeah, mate. No, go on. Not a chance. <laughs> All right, we've just got here. Uh, we managed to get the, well, I couldn't get the wheel nuts undone. They were that tight. So we've ended up having to fall out. More of our tyre fitters are bol bolting. Come and get it off for us. We're just going to get it jacked up now get it all changed over. Right, we've managed to get the wheel changed now. Here it is. You know, so we couldn't get the wheel nuts off, they were that tight. I brought boys with me and everything and we just couldn't shift them, so we had to call somebody to come and get them off for us. So we've got it all done now, we're going to get back on the road and get back to the yard. I'm going to head back now. Are you going to, going to say hello to your peeps, Brad, or what? Huh? Tell them how much of a weapon you are, huh? Making me come all the way out to Bolton, we're blowout. Nothing in wagon, no spur, no nothing. Messer. <laughs> oh, I was going to say Monday morning, but it's actually Tuesday morning. But it feels like a Monday because of the bank holiday weekend. Even though I worked all bank holiday weekend. Uh, we've got the bin in today. Quite a rare sight now, the bin, aren't you, bin? Uh, what do you mean, no? I don't need to go in, you? Uh, yeah, they need to go in drums. Now, we actually had Yee Haring over the Easter weekend helping out and uh, we dismantled the old engine bay. Sort of showed you was doing it really, but we were really short staffed and very busy. But we've pulled half of the racking down and we can now get the 20 yard alloy bin in there. So this is gonna be more like the tire processing for scrap tires, steel rims, uh, and just keeping it neat instead of chaos here. Uh, I'm going to be building a little concrete wall with the Lego blocks just here just to hide the, well not hide the tire problem, but protect it and have it in its own little area so that should just make it look a bit neater the yard is pretty on top of uh, we've managed to keep on top of all the cars coming in over Easter depolluted everything, there's a few to add on to the racks uh, we've got a steel engines going this morning they should be due any minute now and yeah oh yeah for everyone asking about the dvla clamp uh, the car didn't come in like this i think we just found it in the boot of a car three tons just literally sat it over it i think he thought it would be funny which i mean it was all right not a bad little joke so yeah uh i've got a pile of wire over here which i'm planning on keeping Ugh. can you get it down that way yeah, try and get it into that light turd there. There's no point putting it there because I'll just have to sweep it up again, won't I? So, just try and get it all down there, yeah? Uh, yeah, so, I've decided to try and keep hold of the loom. Not for any reason. Uh, the longer you keep hold of it, the more volume we're going to have. It saves the inconvenience of two wagons coming a month instead of one, so... We're just going to pile it up. Copper prices are really only going one way at the moment, which is up. Uh, so yeah, some good pluggy loom here. I don't, what, what is it with this pluggy loom? Right, uh, am I missing something out here on the pluggy loom? I just thought that's quite a normal thing to say. Well, my nickname's pluggy loom. Yeah, but, oh, there's a handbrake in here. That's up in there. But, yeah, what am I missing out on? I know it sounds quite funny, but that's exactly what it is. Pluggy loom with a drive shaft in it. I don't know how that's got in here. It's just we're carrying stuff over all the time. Look at it now. I don't think it's a drive shaft. I think it's half an axle. I mean, I've got to get it now, Anna. There we 
we go. Oh, yeah. Bit of number one there. So yeah, the loom's piling up. Just gonna keep hold of that for a little bit. We've got an alley engine spool, which is going today. Number one's going today. Mixed alley's nearly full. So yeah, good. So, Chris has actually not been able to set off yet because customers over the bank holiday. Whoa! I could have claimed then. Has anyone answered or not? Right. So yeah, customers over the bank holiday weekend must have forgot that they had cars booked in. <laughs> no one's been answering, so it's a bit of an inconvenience because Zoe's going to have to reschedule now whilst booking in new cars. Yeah. So yeah. What have you got to say to people who don't book in, who book in cars and don't answer? No, they need to start answering the phone, don't right, they? Say get up in the morning. Yeah, get up in the morning and start answering your phone. Right, and quickly, what have you got to say to Hello, ultimate, I'm Chris. To your, that, who's that to, your ultimate? That's Bubba Dog, that, yeah. Bubba Dog, yes, Bubba. I said I'd give you one, did I? Was that a bit sick? Yeah, true, yeah, I didn't say I'd give you one. <laughs> no, I did say, I did say I'd give him a shout-out from Chris. Right, I'm going to see what Zoe's doing and crack on. Got Dan and Ryan in, have you shown these? And Oliver. And Oliver, bloody hell. Where's Oliver? Yeah, picking. Is he picking? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm Not smiling then, was she? <laughs> right, so... Quickly, before I do need to crack on, we, uh as I said in the last video, we're looking for a machine operator. I'm not going to be rushing finding the per right person. I'm just kind of hoping... Whenever we need someone, they just seem to come to us. So I'm going to find the right person and then I can start investing a bit more time into the channel. Because I have noticed, I feel like it might be going down a little bit. What do you reckon? Yeah, I agree. Whoa, what do you mean? I'm, no, I, I'm making them, I can see them. Yeah, I know. I can see in the videos that mine and John's time isn't invested in the channel as much. So I'm doing what we need to do so I can do that. Because honestly, it is hard work running the business and the channel at the same time. And obviously our main priority is the yard. So, but yeah, so we're on the hunt. We're going to find someone decent and it'll just take that pressure off me and I can actually focus on bringing the business forward a little bit more because right now I just feel like we're just getting hammered with cars. We, we, it's working and it's earning money, but I, I feel the progression might have just slowed down a little bit because everyone's just running around like headless chickens working. So if I can just take the pressure off me, it means I'm freed up to focus on the business. How does it feel after having nearly a week off? A week? Four days? That's not a week. Nearly a week, I said. Week. I wish I had four days off. Huh? Four days off. Yeah, I was well, on Saturday. Well, till half eleven, if that counts. Good. Yeah, you was! You went to early to get your hair done. <laughs> I was in on Friday. So she did two hours on Saturday, I'll give her that. But anyway, so listen, Zoe's going to be very busy today answering yeah. the phone with the catching up. What did I say then? The catching up, up or catching up? The catching up of Bank Holiday. So I'm going to leave Zoe to it. Thanks. Don't forget those wave revenges on the horizon. You are fully aware of that, aren't you? And you can't whinge when you get it. She's going to be getting some serious revenge, that's all I'm saying. Right, well, we're going to break the devastating news to John. <laughs> we need to buy the winch for the Midland. Should we quickly show him the Midland or not? Well, the winch. So, the other week, the winch broke now we have actually taken it off ready for fitting the new one and we've blanked the uh pipes oh i can see what it means with that junction box what the hell so we're going to order a new winch now we're going to order a load of hydraulic oil in the big drum i think they're what what are they 200 liters 45 gallon drum could have ordered one of them so yeah i'm going to quickly go in the office now and order a, a winch <sighs> Right, this is going to be bad for John. Spend the money, guys. Right, dreaded, dreaded time, pal. That's mine. This is recording. Oh, yeah. do, do you want us to record? Oh, See, this no. is what I mean. John doesn't actually want us to do anything. No, else. I'm just not feeling it. 
Johnny Neverfield. Right, so what we're doing? Ordering a new winch. Right. Brad sent me the link, didn't he? Uh, well, I've sent it, yeah. Bloody hell. Oh, look, like, this is the new bad boy, what we're thinking of ordering. It's a warrior. Yeah, do we really want to admit what it is? What's <laughs> it's wrong with a, that? It's a warrior. It sounds Chinese, doesn't it? No, that would be a good winch, that. Huh? Look at that. Well, it's £812. Yeah, I suppose. It's quite a lot of money. Yeah, oh, is that one there, Doc? I'm trying to find... I've just typed in the model on Google to see if there's any cheaper ones. There won't be. The red ones are nicer. There's got to be. Yeah, they're also a lot more money as well, pal. So, we're getting all the... Well, there's another one here, James. Sign right it up. £10,000. Yeah, that's not as much. Yeah, will that do though? Well, why wouldn't you get the 15,000? Because it's 200 quid cheaper. Yeah, but it's not as powerful. Yeah, but when you think about it, it's going to be more powerful than the Sprinter one anyway, and that Sprinter, it's never failed us. Yeah, but it's never had to drag a five ton recovery truck on or stuff like that. The Midland's going to be pulling heavier stuff on. I don't feel like we're getting anything. 1,500 pounds is probably seven and a half ton. Well, what's the one on the Sprinter? I mean, yeah, you're future-proofing it, but we're not going to be keeping it for that long. Well, what long. do you want to do? So you want to tighten up and get the cheap, the, <laughs> the lighter one? Well, I just get the good one. Right, yeah, okay. It's going to be next day. Is it? You can get next day, yeah. Yeah, but that's more money. Oh, look, 6.8 ton, John. It's not like a massive amount, really. I think you definitely need that. But have you ordered that, John? Or are you, you just trying to keep hold of the money for a little bit longer? Oh, I'm getting my interest. <laughs> Mate, you're not getting any interest, pal. <laughs> Um, right, do you need me now? No, no I don't. Can you get that on next day? I'm going to try. Also, are you going to water the oil whilst I'm not here? I'm not going to water the oil. Are you going to water the oil, yeah? Am I ordering it from the same place I did last time? I would do, yeah. Right, I'm not well, going to say well, it, but you know what I'm going to say. Just listen, when that oil's about to run out, let me know. Because yeah, we'll, I've bought that drum, what could have gone towards the new... Yeah, no, but we're not going to take a drum out of that, are we? Yeah, but it's cost us an extra... 20 quid. Yeah. Yeah. 20 quid's 20 quid. I'll give you 20 quid, guys. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Right. right. So I'm going to order this. So we'll show you when we get the winch and when we fit it tomorrow. Yeah. That'll be the next episode. Yeah, that's right. So once the all going on, we're, uh, we've cleared all the racking out of here now. We're going to put a big skip in there just for the alloy wheels. You can that um, We've got the... Skip here now, ready to come in. We've got Nathan wandering about doing out again. Um, Chris and Kenny, we've got down there clearing the bottom of the yard, getting it all nice and tidy. James is skiving, John's skiving, Zoe's skiving, wandering about, you know. Uh, yeah, he's going to be taking that heavy. So he's going to drop us a skip for the alloy wheels and then he's taking the heavy. So uh, we need that out of the way. One more Sherlock. Come on. James said, why did you put it there? Because John told us to put it there. Well. Wow. Right, Aidy. Are you up giving a shout out? Who? Mike. Oh. So. What's his missus called? I don't know, but a woman's just come down from Haslingdon and she's bought some merchandise for her husband, Mike, who religiously watches all the videos. And Mike happened to see Aidy in Boho in Rottensall, didn't you? Yeah. And Aidy were trying to charge him for an autograph. I can't believe it. So shout out to Mike. Cheers for watching. Yeah, nice one, Mike. And your missus, and I'm sorry I forgot your name. But I served you every week, but I still forget your name. But yeah, you forget my name, so it's not too oh, bad, well, is it? Yeah. Enough, it? Right, anyway, so number one's loaded. We're going to get that off. We've got the 20-yard of satin position, which actually doesn't look too bad. It's not sticking out too far, which is good. Oh, that's you, that. You put net right over it, lad. No, I don't think it has. I don't think it has. It must have gone through the hole in the net. You have smeared its own hole in the net. No, there. I don't think it has. So yeah, looking good. I'm gonna have a bit of sort out now. Because he's gonna get me fired. <laughs> Maybe that's my plan all along, eh? <laughs> right, we're gonna get him gone, and I'm gonna show you down here. Right, I've seen a bit of Eddie, nice one. Try and get that 50 here tomorrow. See so, ya. Yeah, a lot of you have been saying, why don't we use the space at the bottom corner of the yard? I am fully aware the space is there, just in case you didn't know. But it's just been time 
to clear it because we've just been that busy recently just processing the cars and working we're struggling to get the time but now we're pretty on top of stuff we've got kenny and mark two chris in uh clearing this bottom corner now chris will probably turn away here when he sees the camera oh no he didn't he didn't right so this area we're basically just emptying it now we're going to store some racking in here there's a bit of overflow we've got an old scrappy caravan in there what has been in here for years uh, so i'm going to be gutting this whole area and making it a good usable space aren't we kenny right on top of them so I'm thinking if you move these to there, we can start getting these out. Well, they're like... I know, they're fucking they're full of mud. They need to really get took up top and empty, don't they, really? Right, anyway, so yeah, this is going to turn into a good usable space. Yeah. We'll just move the polystyrene sheets there, yeah. and then we can build the car racking, can't we? Right. We're just going to have this as an open area. I need to get a load of hardcore down on the ground here, because it's just really sloppy. So yeah, all good. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to get back on the machine, James. Oh, what are you looking for, Oliver? What off? Blue one. Let's have a look. Just away. Yeah, will it not be up there on the racks? Possibly. Okay, I didn't know we were live. What are you doing now, picking parts for packing? Yeah, What are you going to say to your people, Oliver? Hello. And you do have people, you know. When when you said you went Turkey, you know, they all went lucky bugger. Were they? Yeah. So, yeah. You go on holiday again, aren't you? Yeah, it's the same place, November. Probably over half live here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes, you are. You are? Yeah, he's trying to find it now. Yeah, he's on the rack and they put it up there, but not put it away. Yeah, no worries. All right. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go. Oh, you like walking stuff, don't you? I'm going to be careful. Have you been rolling puddles today, Oliver? Oh, they're not looking too bad, are they? They're a bit battered and bruised though, aren't they? Do you know why? Because you oh, always wear shorts. Oh, well, that's from that. Do you get a bit of joys yeah, up from the operation? You're not too bad, actually. Well, I think. Well, there's two miles of wagons coming as well. Bloody hell. What, are them lot busy down there, eh? Well, yeah. I feel like it. What do you want from me? Nothing. I'm busy. Just filming. Busy. Yeah, I'm you're filming. filming. You're filming what? Just anything that's going on. They're just filming walking through the yard for no reason. Yeah. Having my inspection. Checking everything's running smoothly. Is, right, it? is it running smoothly? There? There's a lot of... Now I'm stuck up there and doing the stuff on the machine. It's like... Is it, uh, management, yeah. But they're doing it. They're doing it to a certain extent, so... What? A lot's been packed today. A lot. Man, it's sold a lot. That's it? No, no that's, all, that's all been done after three o'clock. Yeah. This is just after three o'clock. That's full. Parcels everywhere. At three, and before three o'clock, the pile was up here. But it's all been collected. Well. All the parcels have been collected for today's collections, but because it's come back off bank holiday, it was a bit quiet over bank holiday. It was surprisingly busy-ish. Monday, which was all right, but today all hell breaks loose. I know sometimes life can be tough, and you feel like you just had enough.